So, you're here because you need a new pal. One that's going to support you. One that's going to allow you to lift more weight and smash a new PR. Well, look no further. Because right now, you're looking at a review of the Pioneer Adjustable Lever. Get yourself a pal. Alright, in all seriousness, today we're going to review the Pioneer Adjustable Lever Belt. This thing is amazing! So, for Christmas, my brother gave me my new pal. Now, this thing is absolutely amazing. And if you're into powerlifting, you have probably heard of a company called Pioneer. They make a ton of belts, really great quality. So, they came out with this product right here. This product is going to make any lever belt on the market into something similar to the SBD lever belt. All right, so if you don't know what that is, let's start off with this. A couple of years ago, SBD came out with this bad boy right here. This thing was so amazing when it first came into the market because it's adjustable. Now, I don't know why it took so long for somebody to figure out that the adjusting doesn't need to be done on this side of the belt. The adjusting needs to be over here. So what SBD did was they created this belt, and as you can see, there are a lot of holes right here. Now, this belt is about $230. And don't get me wrong, it is the quality of $230. This leather, 13 millimeters, is absolutely fantastic. It's pre-broken in. The only issue that I've ever heard about this belt is the inside staining people's clothes. So if you buy this belt, there's going to be a recommendation online that says to not wear a white shirt or a gray shirt or something of a lighter color because this red will stain it. Now, that is the only problem with this belt. Now, in terms of function, what this adjustable side does is it allows you, when you have the belt on, to adjust how big it is, right? So, let's say one day you're a little bloated or one day you wanna work out and have a hoodie on, all you have to do is adjust which holes you're usually used to. So if you're used to something like that and you put a hoodie on, you're gonna need it a little bit looser. Voila, it's just like that, it's so simple. You lock it in and there you go. You have a adjustable belt right here. Now, recently Pioneer came out with the POW, the Pioneer Adjustable Lever and it's an attachment that can go on almost any belt out there that is a lever belt. So, I've been using this adjustable lever for since Christmas, right? So since uh, December 25th. And let me just tell you, it does live up to the hype. This thing is so phenomenal. So just to show you all what my belt used to look like. This belt is the Toro belt from Titan Support Systems, not to get mixed with Titan Fitness. They're two totally different companies. So this belt used to have this lever on it. Now, the way that this worked was this lever right here attached to this side with all the holes. So any time that I needed to make my belt a little bit bigger, I would have to unscrew these move that lever over, it would actually be that way, move it over that way. So that way, when it locks into this side, it's a little bit bigger. Now, with the Pioneer adjustable lever, this thing right here, like I said earlier, turns almost any belt into that SBD belt. Now, it's not gonna have as many adjustments 
but you really don't need that many adjustments unless you're sharing the belt with a friend or something like that whenever you're lifting. Now for the assembly, it is so easy to put this thing on. So it's super quick. I unscrewed this just so I can show you guys how easy it is to put it back in. So I really, I didn't change much from where my original lever was. Um, I moved it over just one little hole and that was all it needed. So let me see where it's at. There you go. So right here, and there will be this little curved piece right here. You'll see it's slightly curved. And that's going to be, the curved part is going to be facing inward. You want that towards your stomach. Okay. Now, just to kind of fill in the blanks here a little bit. Um, it's actually really funny because when I went to California most recently to compete, I had taken my screwdriver onto the plane. Silly me, I didn't realize that a screwdriver is considered a weapon. And I got my screwdriver confiscated by TSA. So therefore, I wasn't going to have the ability to adjust my belt at my competition which I absolutely needed and was the reason why I packed my screwdriver. Luckily, my parents drove out there and my dad had a screwdriver in his van that he was able to lend me the day of the competition. So that worked out well. All right. So on the majority of lever belts, this side right here is going to have four little holes right there. And that is so that the prongs can just slide right in there and hook it and pull it in. So now this side is going to be your adjustable side. So you're putting this piece right here, slot that right in there. Now for time sake, it's best if the first time you do this, You have a drill, all right? Now kids, do not do this at home unless you're with a parent. All right, now you'll just have these four screws that you're gonna put in here. This saves so much time just having one of these. Secure this one real quick. Yep. Cool, cool. And just like that, you have got an adjustable lever belt. So, slot that on there. You get it set into position, whichever position you like. And as you can see, that's a pretty tight fit. Whenever I take a big abdominal breath, it's secured on there pretty tight. It's not gonna pop off. Now, let's say I'm lifting with my squat suit or my deadlift suit. That's gonna add an extra piece of layer of material between my body and the belt, which means you're gonna need a little bit of a looser belt. So instead of going on that last little hook right there, I may switch it one, two, or three notches. And you'll see that it's still pretty snug but there's some wiggle room in there. You can fit a hand in there, all right? Let me just tell you, that is one of the best inventions that anybody has had. And like I said, I have no idea why it took somebody so long to come up with a product like this. So in terms of price, you really cannot beat adding a PAL or the adjustable lever to a lever belt. Like I said earlier, this SBD belt is gonna cost you around $230. That is a hefty price tag, especially if you're not even competing in powerlifting. So, there are a couple different ways that you could go about this. If you were to go this route, and I will tell you, if you just rather have you know, the better quality leather, um, 
uh, a more name brand, I will put the link to the SBD belt in the description. Currently, I believe they only have an extra small and a small in stock. So there's not much availability. Now, if you were to go this route, there are a number of ways that you can do this. You can do something like Titan Support Systems, um, Inzer Advanced Designs, Elite FTS, or you can also go with somebody like Larry Wills who has the PR belt. Any, almost any lever belt will work. One of the things I will say is that if you are gonna go off and do something with another company rather than the one I just listed, is make sure that they have these four holes on the left side of the belt. That is going to be key. All of the other lever belts will definitely have this side. It's just really important to make sure that there's four right here so that way this can fit. Now I will say that I did do some research for you all because I wanna find the cheapest way to make one of these possible. Now I'm gonna put a link down in the description and it's going to be for a belt, a lever belt on amazon.com. Now that belt is $55 and it is almost identical to my Toro belt. It is a 10 millimeter belt, so it's a little bit smaller in thickness compared to the SBD belt, but it has fantastic reviews, something like 1600 reviews, four and a half stars. The only reason that it doesn't have five stars is because people said the lever on it sucks. Well, fun fact, you're not gonna use that lever if you're doing this. And then what I'll also do is put a link for the Pioneer adjustable lever, which is this metal piece. This piece is gonna be $65. So in total, you're looking at $120 compared to the $230 for the SBD belt. I don't know about you, but $110 is absolutely fantastic. You can use that $110 to go buy yourself some knee sleeves, some wrist wraps, something else for powerlifting to get you started. And that is my review or comparison to the Pioneer adjustable lever to the SBD belt. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do have any comments, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below. I answer every single comment that's in the comment section, so don't be afraid to ask any questions. Now, if you could show some support by smashing that like button for me and hitting subscribe, that would be absolutely phenomenal. I do a lot of content in terms of product reviews for things like this in the fitness industry. And I also do educational content on how to lift more weights, how to lift with better form. So if you'd like to see more of that, like I said, go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe. Until next time, stay strong.